Welcome to the preview episode of the Back of the Range Golf Podcast. I'm your host, Ben Adelberg. So I'm totally convinced that this is going to be the toughest episode I'll have to do for the Back of the Range. Why? Well, I don't have a guest to interview this week. It's going to be about me and me and then me. And that's not the focus of this podcast. So hang in there for a couple minutes. Let me tell you about the direction of this podcast. And rest assured, the focus will be around our weekly guests and all their stories from the game of golf. So let me introduce myself briefly and then share with you how this whole podcast idea got started. I got started in the game of golf like many kids do growing up in South Florida with little access to the game. I'd work at golf courses for range balls and playing privileges. I didn't have the hottest new clubs as a kid. In fact, I just recently purchased my very first set of brand new irons about two years ago, and I'm 41 years old. I played one year of high school golf, bounced around a couple of colleges before catching a huge break and playing two years of college golf at St. Thomas University in Miami, a small NAIA school. After college, I took some time off from playing, but then got back into it around 2005. I've mainly played in the Palm Beach County Golf Association and also the Florida State Golf Association. I've played in a handful of state amateurs and mid-amateurs and state opens, and even got lucky enough to sneak into the 2012 U.S. Mid-Am. But other than that, I'm just an average Mid-Am player that likes to compete on the weekends. So does this qualify me to start my own golf podcast? Of course not. But I got this idea, I'm going to run with it, and I hope that you subscribe and listen in every week. So a few months ago, I was talking to a friend about social media and YouTube shows, and we soon started talking about podcasts. Now, I enjoy listening to podcasts like Gary Vanderchuk's, which focuses on entrepreneurship, and of course, The Levitard Show. <laughs> I even listen to some of the golf podcasts out there right now. In fact, when you're not listening to this one, Go check out golf.com, the clubhouse of Shane Bacon, and of course, no laying up. These podcasts have something I don't have, access and insight needed to talk intelligently about the professional game. But I noticed that there's not much talk about the average golfers out there that are able to balance work and life and still do some pretty incredible things in the game of golf. And just because we aren't professionals doesn't mean that we're any less competitive or passionate about the game. So since I'm an amateur in golf and an amateur in whatever the hell this thing's going to be, that's what I'll be focusing on. So let's fast forward a couple months. I'm at this tournament at the end of August in Naples, Florida, and we're sitting through an all-day rain delay. So over a couple beers, I throw the podcast concept around to a few of the players in the tournament. And these are some serious players, former pros with web.com wins on their resume, double-digit USGA appearances, state amateur wins, you get the picture. And they all say that they found it interesting and would be willing to help out and be guests on the show. And then they started saying that their friends that are serious players might be interested also. Finally, I start thinking about all the people I've played golf with over the last 10 to 15 years and started reaching out to them. Before I knew it, I had a pretty good list of potential guests for this podcast. So here we are, it's the middle of December, and the Back of the Range is going to launch in January of 2018. So what can you expect from the Back of the Range? Well, we're going to keep things light, we're going to keep it fun, and we're going to focus on prominent amateurs in the game of golf, coaches, instructors, and just interesting people that have good stories to tell. We have some great guests lined up and already recorded just waiting to be launched in January. I hope that you'll join us. Happy holidays, and I'll see you next year at the back of the range.